minus one minute and counting. Now we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 15. 12. 10. CLS is go for main engine start. 6. 5, 4. 3. 2. 1. And boost recognition. Lift off of Space Shuttle Discovery. Taking the space station to full power for full science. Roger roll, roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It is now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Discovery flying 365 miles per hour, one and a half, one and a half miles in altitude, seven miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery's engines are throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Discovery, go at throttle up. Discovery, go at throttle up. Three main engines on board are throttling back up. Now one minute, 12 seconds into the flight, Discovery flying at 1,800 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, and 11 and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was 6,425,000 pounds. All systems continue to function well, three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. We will now stand by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Discovery now flying 3,600 miles per hour, 32 miles in altitude, 43 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery, two-engine TAL. Discovery can reach a transoceanic abort landing in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three main engines are still operating well. <laughs> 